Alice. Hi, this is Akia and I'm back with a tiny, tiny entryway makeover. I'm gonna teach you how to make a small drab entryway, bright and inviting in six simple steps. This entryway has a very limited amount of natural light and no hardwired lighting. It's also very small and enclosed with no real presence. It's just a place that you quickly pass through to get to the living room. If you want to make a nondescript entryway feel welcoming, the first step is to brighten things up with paint. A quick coat of white paint on the door does just that. To make things easy, we painted the door on the hinges. Step number two is to add a large mirror. A lot of times people go wrong with scale in small spaces. They think that because the space is small, the items that they put in it should be small, but that just isn't always the case. You want this mirror to be very large so that you can reflect as much light as possible. Step number three is to add style and or functionality with features like shelves, coat hooks, or ledges. I built a simple shelf using this inexpensive pieces of poplar from the hardware store. They were less than $3 each and I used three pieces. I cut the three long sides of the shelf to 30 inches each and the two side pieces were cut to two and a quarter inches each. Lay one of the long pieces out flat and glue the other two long sides to its sides and then glue the short pieces to the ends to cap them, forming a rectangular box with three sides. I used Gorilla Glue Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The key to getting a really good bond on your wood, aside from the glue, is clamping it. You have to clamp this, at least overnight, but I would say go for the full 24 hours in order to get a really good bond. And make sure that you clean up the glue. I can't stress this enough. Remove as much glue as possible before you let your piece cure. Any glue that is left there, you're gonna have to sand off and it's just going to affect the overall look of your project. I knew that I wasn't gonna put anything heavy on this shelf. It's more of a decorative item than a functional item for me in this space. So we just screwed directly into the wall at sort of an angle from the bottom. And you can see on the inside of that seam that I didn't bother wiping away the adhesive there because I knew that no one would see it since it's on the inside of the shelf. Now this is where you could stain and seal the shelf, but I haven't done that because of course I still haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it the natural color or if I wanna stain. So I'm gonna do that at a later time. Step number four to creating an inviting small entryway is pretty easy and straightforward. Add a rug. I chose this particular rug because we do live in a place that can get very muddy and so that means muddy shoes. So I need a rug that can withstand all the dirt, all the mud, and that is easily cleanable. And you also want to consider whether or not the rug is flat enough to allow your doors to still open and close properly. And that's another thing that I really like about this rug. As you can see, it's very flat. This rug is a bit pricey, although I do think it will be worth it over time. But I've linked another rug that has similar qualities down below in the description box that is a lot more affordable. Step five for making your small entryway more inviting is getting good lighting. Now, lighting was a real challenge in this space because it's not wired and there is no light switch there. The problem is that when we come home at night, it's dark and the light switch is in the living room. So we'd have to fumble into a dark house. And I am so excited that I found a solution to this problem. And hopefully if you have a similar situation, this will work for you too. 
I was scrolling through Amazon as I am known to do <laughs> and I came across these really cool motion sensing lights. They are stick on lights so you don't have to wire them and they are rechargeable. They come with this really cool cord that you can just hook up and recharge them whenever you need to and I decided to stick these lights onto the underside of my shelf. So whenever we walk into the house, the front door opens and the lights will pick up on the motion and they will come on and voila, we have light people. This is so exciting for years. I don't understand why we never did something about this sooner. We were like walking into a dark house for no reason. Now we are at the fun part of the project. Number six is accessorize. You should always accessorize your space with things that make you happy, things that are meaningful to you, things that just bring you an overall sense of joy. So I'm going to accessorize with, of course, fresh greenery and some brass because I love vintage brass pieces. Now that I've shown you how to use these six easy steps to turn your drab, dark entryway into a fresh, bright, welcoming entryway, we can accessorize for every season. I hope you learned something useful and had a little fun today. If you did, please consider subscribing and becoming a part of the Beautiful Living family. Until next time, have a beautiful day.